Hi guys. Today I have a small project. Again, another thing that I've made over the weekend and someone asked me to show them how I did it. Um, this is not something that I came up with. I have to say that off the top of my head right away. Um, I seen this video um, on YouTube and it was done by somebody else and I'm just sharing it with other friends of mine that and also that have requested um, to learn how to do it. So I'm just passing it on and showing you how I came up with uh, or how I learned from YouTube how to do these. I made these butterflies from uh, clothespins. Um, I added the clothespin on myself. She just did the butterfly and I added the idea of putting it on a clothespin to hang it or clip it onto anything in your room. I'm sending this one out to my girlfriend Cassie. She has her room in blue and green so I made this one for her and this one is for my room. Um, I, this is the first one that I did so I just wanted to show you how I did this. What you will need is some tiny roses, um, a clothespin, um, a piece, a couple pieces of scrap paper. This is a good way to use up your scraps. Uh, some glitter, any kind of clear, clear glue. You can use this, or you can use um, quick dry glue or even a uh, liquid glass. I am happen to use this one today. Okay, and then you need um, some flowers, some preferably some large ones. Okay, some black ink, and some kind of stamp that has a flourish imprint. Um, the one that I'm using here is Adorable Backgrounds by Close to My Heart. Um, I don't believe this one is available anymore. I know we have some in the catalog um, that are the big three by three squares, but I'm not sure if, uh, if they have ones that have the flourish on it. But this is the one that I'm using today. And it's this large stamp here. And you will also need um, a hot glue gun. So I'm going to get my 3x3 three three block, put that on there, and you will also need some, um, I don't know what these are called, and I got these from um, a swap that I was in, and you just need one of these. I don't know if they're, they're like flower centers or something, I'm not sure. Craft. If anybody knows what these are called, let me know. <laughs> you can put comment down below. But you'll need those. And I think that's everything that you will need. Um, I have gone ahead and already um, gotten my um, clothespin ready. Um, all I did was put some Mod Podge or, um, again, just a quick dry glue on the back of this and I glued it down on a piece of paper and then I used my Zacto knife to go around the edges to trim off the excess and then I did it to the other side as well. And I just flipped it to the other side and glued it and used the Zacto knife around the edges. And then I used a sanding block to trim off the sides to get it nice and smooth around the edges and I'm using this one today. It has, um, can't really see it. It's got a, like a glitter, uh, there you go. It's got glitter on it. It's glitter paper that I had left over. It was a spring collection that I had. So this is the one I've already have and ready to use. So you'll need that. Okay, so I'm gonna look for a large flower. These are all my small ones. I need a large one. There's a nice one, of course, all the way in the bottom of the bucket. Let's see. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Here. So we have this nice pink one here. 
I'm going to go with this along with, let's see what colors. I usually go with whatever colors are, are on the paper. So I'm going to go with, there's no pink in this, but there's a, let's see if I have a darker pink. Um, of course, I don't have any darker ones. I got blue. Okay, I'm just going to go with the pink, and you're going to need to do this color, two small ones. Let's see if there's any other colors I want to use. Nope. Okay, and let's see, I think I'll throw some of this in there. This is just... Um, some kind of netting. It's supposed to be a flower, but it's all ripped and stuff. So I'm just going to use some of those. So, and then my pink flowers. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut this in half. Okay. So now you have two halves. Fold this in half. So you want to fold it, fold the flower in half. So the inset, the bottom side, fold in half. Okay, now you want to stamp the image. Okay, now you ink up your image and you're just going to go right over the flower. Okay, so then you get that kind of design and then you can do the same thing to the other one. And there's the other one. Okay. You're done with the inking, so you can go ahead and put that aside. And I need a piece of plastic for underneath the top here. Let's see. I had a piece. Um, oh well, I'm going to go without it. Okay, so now you're going to have your two pieces. And you're going to glue these two together, not next to each other, kind of like off, offset them. Okay. My um, hot glue helpers would be nice to have today. Okay. So now these you're going to fold in, in half. So bottom side down and then fold again like a triangle. Actually, I'm going to set these off a little bit and fold it here. Actually, these are too small. All right, I need bigger ones. Let's see. It's the same size. It's the same. Let's see. What else can I come up with? I'm just going to use these anyways, and I'll just fold them this way. Okay, so fold it in half, glue the inside, fold in half, glue down and do the same to the other side. Fold in half. I've gotten, my fingers are used to the hot glue gun now. 
I or actually ordered hat blue helpers and I don't think I need them anymore as much as I've been using hot glue lately. Okay, so I set those down. All right, so now you have your wings for your butterfly. And I'm not happy with these flowers down here, so I'm going to trim them. Okay, so now I have my wings. And you're going to add your clothespin. So put some glue on your clothespin. Let me see what size I want. What side I want to use it on? I'm going to use this side here. So just put some glue on your hot, your um, clothespin, and you're going to put it about a quarter of an inch down at the top. Okay, and I'm going to take my little flowers, I think I'm going to use four of these. Okay, so I got my little flowers, and now you're going to use your clear glue, and you're going to put it on the antennas. So I'm going to fold the antennas in half. And just put the glue on them. Um, you can have them white if you choose, um, but I like adding a little bling. So I add some glitter. This is our prism glitter from Close to My Heart. Um, the item number is Z134. So I'm just going to dip it in the container. I'll dip one in and dip the other one in. It just gives it the nice iridescent. You're not going to be able to see it. Um, the red paint. So now you're going to glue these down in the center. And I'm going to use um, there. Use my tweezers. I kind of bend them up a little bit on each side. Okay, we're just about done. So now I'm going to bend my flower and stems. Fold these down. It would be nice if I had some orange flowers, but this is all that I had on hand. Okay, and then you just glue these down. The center of your butterfly right onto your clothespin and butterfly wings. So there you go. That is how I made the butterflies. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please comment down below and let me know what you think. Are the ones that I've made and this one. So, thanks for watching, guys. You have a great afternoon. Mm -hmm.